Hi, I'm Rachel Mills and in today's instalment of our Drawing Skills class we will be doing space. So space can be broadly defined in art as the area within and can be the area that a piece inhabits. So the area inside the paper, this is all my space that I have to put down my elements and everything. So here. Over here, I've laid out my space and I've decided where I want to put things within the space. It's just an abstract thing, but I've decided I want to put in the space this element. I want to put in the space this colour. And that's all a decision. The other definition for space being the area that artwork inhabits. So one part of this artwork is that it inhabits my sketchbook, but it can also inhabit a permanent space so perhaps I want to have an installation so that it inhabits this area and part of the artwork being the space it inhabits. We're going to start talking about uh, three-dimensional space illusions because when you are placing your elements within on your page within your page you can choose you can give the illusion of space, three-dimensional space, almost like form, but this is space's version of, for, of form. Like I've said before, a lot of the different elements feed into each other, so this is form and space feeding into each other. So let's say you'll have, you want to have a pathway that leads your eye. If you just do this, that really won't play a path. but if you choose to put it at an angle. Next week we're going to have to be talk about perspective and everything. But, but we're not going to get too into that this week. What I'm mostly going to get into are actual objects. So let's say we have a little man. So if we want to make our little man look further away, we're going to make him smaller. We will make him look even further away. We make him even smaller and less detailed. This man up here, we can give him eyes. We can give him a wee nose. We can give him some buttons, maybe, on his little coat. But this man, he's a bit too far away to see his eyes properly. Maybe there'll be a few wee shadows. Maybe you'll sort of see a bit of a sleeve or something. So he'll have a nice, proper wee sleeve with all the little decorations you can see because he's right close to us. And this wee man over here, we're really not going to see anything. He's just going to be a little shadowy figure. And if you want to make a man even smaller, he's just going to be a little dot. A little dot far away. Even further. Teensy weensy wee dot. But if you think about it, all these men, we're just choosing to put them in the space and try to make them smaller. We can also make them blurrier. That's another way that helps them look further away. And that's because of aerial perspective. So we're going to be, we are going to be talking about perspective more next week. But for now, I just want you to think about how to sort of make a space within your artwork. So where you're going to choose to make a little man or some other subject. But just try and make it look far away from you. A good way is the contrast of the man close to you and the man far from you. So if you want to choose to find you choose something around the house, you could even do a still life again. Bring something really, really close to you, draw it detailed, and then find something, push it a wee bit further back from you, and don't draw as many details as you can even see. Leave it a little bit hazy, maybe get something sort of in the middle, have it sort of mid-ground. So that will be your first project today. So once you've completed that, we're going to move on to positive and negative space. You may have heard of this. So what we're going to be drawing today is actually a chair. You could just draw a chair and say, okay, here's the leg, here's the sort of seat bottom, here's that, here we go, here's the other leg, and we draw it that way. Or we can draw the spaces in between. Instead of drawing the actual chair, we're going to draw that weird little triangle that 
we do that is not the chair. I'm going to draw for there. Not triangle, sorry, square or rectangle that is the chair. Over here, this is another sort of weird rectangle, which is not the square, which is not the chair. Apologies. Here. There is that other rectangle we're going to draw, which is not the chair. Drawing the negative space instead of the positive space. The positive space is our actual subject, so this is positive space. This over here is negative space. When we draw the negative space, it can make it easier sometimes for us to draw a subject that might be have really difficult, weird looking shapes that we have a hard time understanding. If we draw the negative the negative space, that can be a bit easier for us. So you can find a chair in your kitchen, maybe in your room, wherever, especially one that has all these weird shapes and prongs and things, and start drawing that negative space. And when you're finished, you can just colour in your positive space and you'll have a chair shape of a chair, the positive space of the chair and the negative. If you want you can like add a few more details or you can just sort of leave it the space. The space is the most important thing. For our last project in space we will be doing a pencil versus camera challenge. He is using space and drawing together so that they cannot be separated. If you just grab one of his drawings on their own without the actual space they're in, they wouldn't be nearly as interesting. So you'll be doing your own pencil versus camera. The best way to go about it would be to sort of draw your space first. So sort of draw where it matches up and sort of get it so you can hold your piece of paper in so that it matches up and it fits your space. Once you have the sort of space drawn, you can hold it up, the lines meet each other, then you'll be able to add your sort of fantastical element whether you want to have a wee dragon sitting on your couch or a little dog on a unicycle running around your kitchen. Get really creative with it. I'm really excited to see what you do with this. So that is all of our elements. We'll be moving on to other uh, fundamentals such as perspective. So I'll be looking forward to that. I hope you've all had a great week and keep drawing. Stay safe and healthy.